Bowhead whales live for over 200 years, and over that long life, they rarely get cancer. Scientists have recently uncovered the genetic superpowers that helps keep them cancer-free, and those powers just might help us find new ways to prevent cancer and unlock the secret to living longer. The Alaskan Inupiat Inuit, who have hunted bowhead whales for generations, say that the whales live two human lifetimes. The science backs this up. Some bowhead whales caught close to the turn of the century, around the year 2000, were found with stone harpoon points and bond lands fragments from the Victorian era embedded in their bodies. Several studies afterward estimated the age of the whales by testing their ovaries, eyes, and baleen, and they supported the idea that the bowhead whale lifespan exceeds 200 years. Now, it's already known that many large animals get cancer less often compared to smaller ones. This is called Pito's paradox. In theory, larger animals have so many more cells to have mutate, and so they should get cancer more frequently. They usually don't, though. Bowhead whales certainly fall into the large animal category, exceeding 80,000 kilograms, over seven times as heavy as a school bus. That means they have a lot of cells that can malfunction, and I mean a lot. Bowhead whales are well over a thousand times heavier than us, after all. To put it in perspective, humans have roughly 30 trillion cells. I'll let you do the math. Their extended lifespan also means that there's a huge amount of time for something to go wrong in their cellular systems. Both their size and longevity predispose them to accumulate DNA mutations throughout their lives. But in spite of all of this, bowhead whales aren't very cancer prone. Genetic mutations are a key factor in developing cancer. When cells experience breaks in both strands of DNA, there are a few strategies they can use to prevent the organism from developing full-on cancer. One strategy is to stop the damaged cells in their tracks by preventing them from multiplying or even by destroying them. Elephants, for example, have extra copies of a tumor-blocking gene called P53 that can help it clear out damaged cells and prevent the mutations from replicating. There are many different mechanisms that animals use to eliminate damaged cells, as they are a huge threat. When damaged cells are in excess, it's often best to just get rid of them. An alternative strategy is to just take the hit and fix mutations as they come along. This is called DNA repair. DNA repair is a critical mechanism to both slow aging and prevent cancer, and the reduced mutation buildup that comes from the repair is a key factor in this species' longevity. The bowhead whale was expected to rely on this alternative strategy of DNA repair, as predicted by clues from its genetic makeup. Now though, scientists have supported that prediction through a series of experiments on cells harvested from bowhead whale tissue in comparison to cells from humans, cows, and mice. They first investigated whether bowhead whales use a strategy similar to elephants by testing whether the whales have increased P53 tumor suppressing activity. They didn't. In fact, they had the lowest P53 activity between mouse, cow, whale, and human cells. Bowheads also unexpectedly actually require fewer breaks to their DNA to form cancer than that of humans. These results support the idea that they must use an alternative strategy to prevent cancer rather than just suppressing or eliminating six cells. The researchers then compared how bowheads and humans compare in their mutation frequencies. By exposing the cells to a mutation-causing chemical and testing their responses, the researchers found that mutations were much less frequently found in bowhead whales. While the other species were prone to deleting big chunks of DNA during repair, the bowheads weren't. These results suggest that bowheads have a more accurate and efficient DNA repair system compared to other species. Lastly, let's talk about RPA2 and CRBP. These two proteins increase the efficiency and accuracy of DNA repair. The researchers found that bowhead whales have high levels of both of them, especially CRBP. When tested with mouse and human cells, bowhead CRBP was found to improve DNA repair efficiency, whereas human CRBP was not. These results demonstrate that bowhead whale cells are not more resistant to DNA breakage and aren't more prone to killing off damaged cells. Instead, they rely on more accurate and efficient DNA repair. DNA repair is a risky strategy, as if it's done incorrectly, it can seriously harm or even kill the animal. So why do bowhead whales rely on DNA repair instead of getting rid of damaged cells in the first place, like elephants do? The bowhead whale has a uniquely efficient and accurate repair system, which minimizes error in the process of repair. Effective DNA repair reduces the loss of valuable cells, like neurons, that usually don't get replaced after dying. It's possible that repairing the DNA, instead of killing or suppressing the cells, could improve longevity in the species' life. A potential drawback of this system is that it's hard for species with highly accurate DNA repair systems to evolve new adaptations. If the animal isn't facing a lot of environmental adversity, though, there's not really a lot of evolutionary pressure to adapt anyway. It's very exciting to further our understanding of how the bowhead whale fights cancer, 
because these strategies could potentially be translated into new treatments for people with cancer. Therapeutic treatments involving proteins like RPA2 and CRBP could possibly reduce genetic instability in humans one day. There is so much to learn from the long, cancer-free lifespans of bowhead whales, and hopefully they can help us to find new ways to live healthier, longer lives. As evolutionary ecologist Orsolia Vince said, we probably have the solution to cancer medicine out there in nature already. We just have to find it. <laughs>